Hello, I'm Dr. Dennis Kimbrough and welcome to my global classroom. Well, we all heard those words before. You never know who you will bump into when you're standing in the checkout line. Well, I'm here to tell you those words still ring true and here's why. A few days ago, rain and thunderstorms caused power outages across the Atlanta area. As a result, I was forced to scurry to a Home Depot to pick up a number of items. Well, while standing in the checkout line, the gentleman behind me asked if I was Dr. Kimbrough. I replied yes, and his eyes lit up. He then extended his hand and introduced himself. His name is Clarence. And he shared that he was a huge fan of my writings and that my books literally changed his life. Though he is an electrician who also sells and installs security systems for a Fortune 500 telecommunications company, life hasn't always been this good for him. As a matter of fact, nearly a decade ago when the U.S. was crawling out of the recession, Clarence was not only out of work, but homeless and depressed as well. Well, one day, while scrounging for spare chains on the streets of Atlanta, a passerby gave him a few dollars and some much needed words of advice. As he placed the money into Clarence's hand, he urged him to go to a bookstore and purchase a copy of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Weeks later, not only did Clarence do as the stranger suggested, but he also found my book nestled behind Hill's classic and bought them both. For the next several months, morning, noon, and night, while seated on a cot in a homeless shelter, Clarence soaked up every word these books had to offer. And slowly but surely, he began to piece his life back together and vowed never to be in this situation again. As we left the store, I asked Clarence to share the one principle that he learned that made the biggest impact on his life. Before he responded, I could tell that I had hit a nerve because he had overcome so much and he had completely transformed his life. Once he gathered his thoughts, there in Home Depot's parking lot, Clarence gave me a 10 minute masterclass on his top five principles to success and personal achievement and why they are so important. Number one. Clarence told me that desire is the starting point of all achievement, and I quote, he said, I was true to a single mission, which was getting back on my feet. Well, you know, most of us fail to give ourselves permission to want more because we think that for some reason that makes us unappreciative of the blessings that we do possess. But desire is required to move forward. And Clarence said, the moment that he decided to alter his life, all lack of faith and confusion was swiftly vanished. He said his first step out of that homeless shelter began as soon as he walked into that bookstore. Number two, faith in your abilities is crucial to success. Clarence told me that deep within, he knew that failure or the lack of belief in his capabilities to succeed was not a part of his nature. He said he had to undergo a mindset shift. He had to rid himself of any self-doubt in his capabilities. Quote unquote, I had to trim away the discouragement, the pessimism, and the hopelessness. And he said the reason was simple. You will never be given a penny more than what you think you deserve. Number three, self-education is no longer optional. You know, when he learned that he couldn't convince or influence others until he convinced himself, he went on to say that he became captivated with personal development, specifically the concept of auto-suggestion. In other words, speaking out loud regarding what you wanted out of life and what you wanted to achieve. This helped him to internalize his goals and objectives. Number four, you can't possess a standard education and expect an extraordinary life. As an electrician, he knew he had to gain specific knowledge. Don't major in minor things. A lot of people major in minor things. They know a lot about stuff that doesn't really move the needle. Instead, 
Become world class at one specific topic. Specialized knowledge is more valuable than general knowledge. In order to get up to speed and stay ahead, you must uncover your competitive advantage. Be prepared to answer the following question. What do you do better than anyone else? And last but not least, persistence plus effort equals success. Nothing good appears or remains very long without consistency and persistence. Mastering any skill requires mastering your mindset. It won't occur overnight. Achieving your goals may require months or even years in order to see true transformation. The secret to success is to keep on grinding even when your objective is not in sight. Well, there you have it. Words of wisdom full of actionable advice from an individual who has experienced both sides of the spectrum. According to my newfound friend, investing in yourself is the best way to ensure that you will continuously add value as you nudge even closer to becoming the person you desire to be. Well, this is Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. Until next time, always remember, your wealth choice is arguably your best choice. God bless.